Have you ever extracted gold from electronic waste? No? Then today, we're going to do it, right here. First, we start by weighing our electronic scrap. You can see exactly how many kilos it is. After that, we begin the process. We take a container and pour in some water. Then, we add these gold-plated pins into it. Next, we pour a little more water, just enough to soak them completely. Now, we add nitric acid. Nitric acid helps separate the brass and other metals from the gold. All the base metals, like copper, zinc, and iron, dissolve with the acid, leaving only pure gold particles behind. We add a bit more water and acid again, and you can see the reaction starting. It's boiling. Now, we'll cover it and leave it for about two to three hours, keeping it on a low flame to speed up the process. After about an hour, the reaction is almost complete. We turn off the heat and pour in some water to neutralize the acid. Then we filter it through a fine cloth. This step is important so that even the tiniest gold particles don't flow away with the acid. We wash the residue two to three times, repeating the process carefully. Then we transfer the filtered material into a smaller container and wash it again thoroughly. This process can be done anywhere, even in the US, UK, or Canada. It's completely legal and you can easily make $1,000 to $2,000 from scrap, totally free. Now we add a little more nitric acid again and repeat the process. Keeping it over a gentle flame to make sure all impurities are removed. Here's our filter paper where the gold has been trapped. Look closely, you can already see a lot of gold dust. Now we add a small amount of HF acid. This boosts the acid's power and helps remove any remaining impurities. But be careful, adding too much can damage your gold. Once this step is done, we remove all the acid since our chemical process is complete. This ensures there's no copper or brass left in the gold. Next, we pour everything back through the filter one more time and wash it thoroughly with clean water. You can already see how much gold has been recovered. Now it's time for the main step. We add mercury into the container. We stir it well so that the mercury sticks to all the gold particles, 
while the dirt and unwanted materials stay behind. To help this process, we also add a bit of baking soda. This reduces stickiness and helps the gold bond more effectively with the mercury. Let us know in the comments where you're watching from. We keep adding water and baking soda, stirring continuously to make sure all gold attaches to the mercury. Once done, we mix it one last time to catch any leftover gold. Now it's time to separate the gold from the mercury. You can see there's still a lot of dirt, so we'll clean the mercury properly before moving ahead. Now, we pour the cleaned mercury into a piece of cloth and carefully filter it by pressing and twisting. As we squeeze, you can see the mercury dripping out. Don't worry, only the mercury comes out. The gold stays safely inside the cloth. If you're from a Western country, you can always ask your questions in the comments. We'll definitely reply to you. Inside the cloth, that white ball you see is actually a mixture of gold and mercury. But there's still a bit of mercury left inside, so now we transfer it into a small bowl, break it down into small pieces, and add nitric acid again. As soon as we add nitric acid, you'll see it start to boil. That means mercury is reacting. We heat it gently from below to speed up the process. When the color turns white, that's the sign that the mercury has completely evaporated and only pure, raw gold remains. We then wash it several times with clean water to remove any leftover acid. Boil and rinse it two to three times until all acid is completely gone. Finally, we dry it. And there you have it. Pure, recovered gold from electronic waste. Before heating, we sprinkle a little borax powder, Suhaga, on top. This helps the gold melt faster and stay pure. Finally, the gold melts completely into a small, solid,
we'll cool it down and lift it out. And there you have it, 24 karat pure gold recovered from e-waste. If you enjoyed this process, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you.